Hmm, that's a really interesting quote. Is it a quote? It is a quote. I like that. Hmm. Can you say it again? A uh, piece of art is never finished. It's merely surrendered. Okay. I like that one. You guys send that to me. I have a yeah. quote book. Yeah, but that's the thing is like <laughs> something could like no matter what when you're like I'm finished and then you look at it three months later and you're like I gotta. It's this. tough to say though. It's like say if there is a god and he's like I'm making man. I'm gonna do two arms and two legs. He was like I'm finished. But if he kept going and he surrendered, you could have like fifty arms on a guy and then you run out of room for arms. And that's actually a really good example. It's an interesting yeah. thing. It's a really good example because God should have made us with wheels. We like, would have been, we would have been more efficient. <laughs> Wednesday, September 19th. This is the most artsy, most sophisticated, intelligent podcast on the web of all time. This is Sharkcast. Today, we are joined by local Metro Detroit artists, Sia and Anthony. Hello. Hey, hey friends. All right, so let's open this up. Are you guys team MGK or team Eminem? There's a right or wrong answer. Eminem, for sure, because I don't know who MGK is. <laughs> okay, fair. Eminem, for sure. I don't even listen to rap, but podcast over get the fuck out <laughs> really no no of course not of course okay. not everyone's taking this really seriously They're talking I about it at work with me I, and i'm like i'm actually I'm like, what's going on everybody is i'm actually is having a blast seriously. with it i i having a blast with it it's fun it's fun it's just it's a, interactive music's interactive again thanks to machine gun kelly and that slim shady so who do you think's winning though for real um me yeah the i believe listener. it yeah. the listener yeah, yeah. I'd say so. So, well, so, yeah. so you also play. So you play in a band, you, and you guys also are painters, drawers, both. Yes, we uh, drawers. Drawer. Yeah. <laughs> we we draw things. Artists. Yeah, yeah, we create. Artists, yeah, She's for a sure. watercolor artist. Uh, we use all sorts of things. Yeah. Really, anything we can get our hands on. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Do you sculpt at all? Yeah. Do you? Really? Yes. She's, she's doing some cool stuff with the awesome play right now. It's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you sculpting? What kind of? I'm things? making these little heads, um, like this big, like little beads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like okay. a, they're really cool. I I wish I could show you a picture, but that's but just you what they're. No. <laughs> that's cool. Hell yeah. Um. So you said, like, you don't mainly do watercolor. That's. Just what you prefer? Mixed media. Yeah. All sorts yeah. of things. Sure, of course, yeah. of course. Watercolor's cool. Mm-hmm. Have you used it? Yeah, I took a lot of art classes in high school. Nothing really beyond that. <laughs> I'm not going to like sit here like I, I, I may not know art, but I know what I like. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> forgot Ninja Turtles. That's my yeah, favorite that's thing. <laughs> depending cool. on the night, depending on the night, right? you guys may get yourselves uh, your very uh, own Jeff Lewis Ninja Turtle. Sweet. <laughs> That'd be like, amazing. Hell I drew yeah. one at the, uh, at the place where I work, and one of the fucking kids fucked it up. How do you fuck it up? He, uh, I'm he gave Michelangelo no, a sword. I'm, no, Danny, because if you knew anything about <laughs> art, you knew that all artists grow. So I'm trying to change my style, and he fucked <laughs> it up. You're trying to change your style, or how? Ah, uh, dude, it's watercolors, it's, Ninja Turtles. I've done watercolor <laughs> Ninja Turtles. I'll have you know. No <laughs> way. Of course, I have. <laughs> no I'm way. That's the it's hardest not. thing to paint with watercolors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's not. No. It's fairly simple. I've even done Ninja Turtles in uh, charcoal. That oh, was cool. Wow, um, you got to bring it back. I mean, I, high school was a long time ago, 2007, right? Uh, no, well, not that long ago, but... Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 2006 for me. Christ almighty. <laughs> uh, make uh, me feel old. Uh, I've done uh, Ninja Turtles in uh, oil pastels. Uh, I've done Ninja Turtles in just about anything I could do. I haven't sculpted a Ninja Turtle. Yet. <laughs> That's your next step. You yeah. never made one out of, the, out of Play-Doh or something? Uh, out of Play-Doh, yes, but I'd like to do it out of clay and like actually put it in a... Play-Doh? Uh, no. No. Is that no, a dash? Oh, my God. <laughs> Embarrassing us in front of the artist. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, so you guys also... do you? So you own a business called Uncorked, is that right? Oh, Artist Uncorked, yes, I do. So that's your business? Um, yeah, it's, um, I teach painting classes. Uh, where they're, like, so two. is it like 
Paint it with a twist, kind of. Yeah, it's painting with a twist is like the Kleenex of tissues, pretty much. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so none of that. Yeah. But we don't. <laughs> that's not that 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 <laughs> No, but yeah, yeah. I was looking at some of the paintings that you guys. Uh, do are you guys both like run classes? Uh, no, not, not I. She has in the past, and I really don't do it that much anymore. Honestly, I'm more focused on other creative endeavors. Interesting. Interesting. So, how did you come up with the paintings that the the the, the like people come and paint? Is it like just standard ones that you like find online? That, so some of them, like some of them are, them? yeah, most of them are like created by me. Yeah. So yeah, like this. those are badass. You should pull some of those up. The, the, <laughs> like the uh, how are you like uncorked? Well, I don't know if I. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like I, uh, I'd be the, like you'd be like, all right, let's paint this, and I'm like Ninja Turtle. <laughs> hey, and I'd be like, hell yeah, I'd probably give you a lot of high fives during the play. Right. <laughs> and then he comes the next week and you're like, you gotta fucking stop, Jeff. Why are you coming here, dude? I'm paying him. You know how to do this. <laughs> like, oh, Ninja Turtle is just the face, by the way, guys. <laughs> I've, I've drawn the body. They have a very strange anatomy. I really gotta see these. They have a very strange anatomy. Okay. Do you have any tattoos? Of Ninja Turtles? No. <laughs> well, but you should you probably should. You should yeah. have them on like your knuckles or something. <sighs> Each one. Jeff, and you could get your Vin Diesel tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Vin Diesel tattoo. And I Jeff can do it because I do tattoos. <laughs> really? Yes. Um, the thing is, like, my first Ninja Turtle tattoo is I would actually like to do it myself in the vein of my own style. Okay. <laughs> because, like, it. Uh, I've actually had an uh, artist. I've commissioned a Ninja Turtle piece done by an artist. You go to the and, website, Josh. And I was like, uh, he's like, so what do you want? And I was like, uh, when was the last time you drew a Ninja Turtle? And he's like, not long ago. You like want right to see up. it? And I was like, oh, that looks great. You he's like, how it. about you? And I was with my brother, and he's like, you did that? He drew a Ninja Turtle last night. On the, we were on vacation. I drew a Ninja Turtle on the tablecloth of uh, some Chinese restaurant. That's like a prevalent That's where the best ideas come from. I know. You love that. You drew that Ninja Turtle on that tablecloth. I do, I, you know what, Danny? There's things <laughs> I feel called, like you've told that story I have, but like four times. That's because you've never made a masterpiece, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, put those up on the TV. So is it hard? Like, are some people, like, drawing or painting these things and they turn out terribly? <laughs> uh, yeah, some people... <laughs> Some people have, are more natural yeah. at it than others, but I feel like at the end of the day, everyone's usually decent, happy. I'd say about ninety five percent of the people leave happy. Well, I mean, <laughs> for the if, most part, if you're giving yeah. someone like the idea, go back of, like, to those paintings. Here you go create something, and like yeah, and at least it shows them that it's possible, and they're usually like surprised in themselves. Oh, so, I like the Wonder so, Woman, the Bob Marley. Oh yeah, the Wonder Woman. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, the Michigan. I've heard of that place. <laughs> Where is it? It's, I think it's in the West. Yeah. Um, oh. I, I would, like, I would choose. Yeah, but Wonder Woman or go up. Let's see what other ones I would do. <laughs> I like Birdwatch. I like Castaway. Yeah. I like all of them. I like Pretty, pretty in pink. pink. Yeah, Pretty in Pink is cool. These are all pretty nice. So mm -hmm. the, hell yeah, man. Yeah, so are, do you do this at a, like a place? Um, is there like a really? Location? I'm just like a mobile. Um, company where i just go to offices and schools it's and not a bad idea whatsoever people's basements Hell or yeah. kitchens and do team building kind of like little kids parties and nice any kind of thing you can hustle so, i, think I mean hustling. i know there's got to be that one person out there like i i would be hard pressed to like give anybody like some paint and be like oh, draw this and they'd be like no but there's got to be that one person's like i don't want they probably wouldn't sign up. Draw this. Yeah, no, more, they right? would. They'd be forced, peer pressured into it. Oh. Yeah. And then they're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get really drunk. The husband. Yeah, the husband doesn't mm -hmm. want to be there. You're talking about the kids' parties are getting really drunk? Yeah, that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. I'm Josh. <laughs> the kids' parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, hell yeah. But no, I, keep, cool. yeah, I keep this, like, my artwork that I do is way different than this stuff, but yeah. this is more for so which the people. We'll definitely get into Yeah. So how much is it for like a class for you to come in and do this? So I, it, I charge 35 a person and I, I don't have a, I don't have a minimum. Um, I'll even teach one person. Um, Whoa. Yeah. I, yeah. Nice. Looks so like fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, like so I said, I'd be hard this, pressed people. to be like, oh, I have an easel and paint. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's. I make you feel comfortable with some cool hit music and sure. I I start dance parties and 
I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys are painting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> some private parties there. <laughs> Hell yeah. So fucking don't go to to uh painting with painting, a twist. Painting with a twist. Do on. artist uncork. Yeah, Hell we're yeah. Yeah. learn, laugh, and create. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck that corporate uh, shit. Yeah, fuck that. You know? Fuck that. So yeah. you also play in a band. Yeah, my band's called Panda House, and we're just about to release our our new album that we're in the works of doing final mixes on. All right, what's the album nice. called if you are so willing to drop it? <laughs> we don't even have a name for it yet. You don't. Uh, no, we don't. Who, um, was I mistaken, yes, or are, are you jamming with Robert Johnson? Yeah, yeah. Really? How'd you score him, King of the Delta Blues? Uh, he was dating my friend, and um, she was coming over, and she's like, hey, my new guy I'm talking to plays guitar. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to talk to him. And then the next day we uh, played, and that's how Panda House started. Right. Nice. Yeah. Cool, man. Very cool. So who did this uh, go back up? Who did that <laughs> animation thing? So I drew it up and um, messed with it in photos, or Illustrator and then handed it to my synth player, Chad Gold, though, which is, he's awesome at animation, that so he, he animated it. I drew it, he animated it, so it was a, a collaboration. Nice. nice. So, I have one thing with it, though. When, critique it. I'm going to critique it. <laughs> when I click it, you should have your music playing. Oh, uh, yeah, that yeah. would be sweet. You should have the music be playing. Why don't sure. we? Yeah, what, what are we doing? Right? Because I thought, like, it was going to play some of your fucking badass oh, music. That would be sweet. Right? Damn. Space Panda. You uh, know that. That's so, easy. <laughs> With music, like, what do you pull from influentially wise? Mm. <clears throat> I guess uh, we all kind of have different genres that we like, sure. um, but they all kind of mesh really great and marry good. Uh, I'd say my inspirations. Um, what do you play, by the way? In this I play band? drums. Nice. Yeah. Josh is giving the, Woo! the devil's horns. Yeah, you got a couple drummers in the house. <laughs> Watch you? Out. All of us. Uh, yes, pretty much everybody here is a drummer. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I uh, guess I'm influenced by like Coheed and Cambria drumming, uh, like Sailson. Why don't we hang um, out, dude? This Tony's <laughs> Guns, Chan. Chan. Uh, there's so many cool bands. <laughs> Chan's badass, dude. Chan's I so know. Sweet. I just like, I just tease it's Scotty. Like Scotty yeah. Every time yeah. you hear Chan, I think like, of Scotty yeah, for sure. Nate likes Chan. Josh likes Chan. Because of Scotty? I like Chan, too, but I like to make fun of Scotty. But it, what kind of music is it? So, ah, oh man. I was listening to some of it, and I feel like it has a bunch of different styles. It is a bunch of different genres, I guess. It's uh, kind of mathy, kind of alternative, kind of heavy-ish. Um, you got a song that you would uh, say is... I would say Loom or Caravan. Or no. Koi. Thank you. Well, you pick those three. I like the number three, so I'm okay. going to give you three options. Well, I'm going to go with number three then, which is Caravan. So. All right, cool. Yeah. So is this the album that you're talking about releasing? <laughs> no, this one <laughs> No, this one was, we released this last year. Gotcha. Nice. So, this is the so one you did a music video year? to, right? Yeah, we did a music video to this song, too. Nice. It was my, yeah. Did you so, do the album art? Yeah. Yeah, I... I Went to school for graphic design. I had my bachelor's in graphic design, and I paint, obviously, so I threw all that together. Nice. Oh, you can paint? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With my fingers on there. <laughs> you know what? I've seen some badass finger painting. <laughs> Finger paintings, I do with some of my works. Me too. I, I, like, mess up, and I'm like, oh, I got to fill the spot. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Where'd you do your undergrad at? Uh, Wayne State. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. I'm a warrior. Go Warriors. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> now, was that, was no. that in um, <laughs> art or in music or? It was in graphic design. Oh, yeah, you said that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm drinking beer. L listen up. <laughs> yeah, <Josh. laughs> I got too many things in front of me right now. I'm so distracted. He has a cajon in front of him. He's, he's trying to play this <laughs> <cajon. laughs> You can't hear it because his hands are really small, but he's been playing this whole time. They're so <laughs> Very extra weak. tiny hands. <laughs> well, Super also weak. Too, he, no, did, Jeff, he did tell me on the way very here. Very weak. His mind's a little bit clouded. He did just pre-order the new iPhone. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does it have uh, a... <sighs> it's updated. It, it what has, does it, it even have? Every, it, has it has everything, everything? Josh needs. It's, it's going to make my <laughs> dick pics look mirror? incredible. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. They should have that in their advertisements. Yeah. It will make your dick pics look the best. Well, here's the thing I with the think that's with a bad the, advertisement. With yeah. the new artificial intelligence Is out there, there you just to make them look you better? just grab a picture of your dick and it just makes it look like someone who's got a great dick. No, I don't know who that would be, but can you view it from your Apple Watch too? I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just I think in it'll case fit in, the, in yeah. the diameters of the. It might not. It'll be actual size, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, yeah, it'll be perfect <laughs> actual size fitting on your wrist. Yeah. You can have Josh's stick on your wrist. <laughs> that <laughs> should be their marketing. <laughs> yeah, right there. You're right. Right. Let's call up Apple. So you already Apple. ordered it, eh? That was Steve Jobs' yeah. like, last dying wish. Yeah, I want to make sure dick I can. Pics. I, want, I, I want, want dick pics on everyone's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I want. That's in my will. That would be accessible right dick pics. Yeah. See, now is it the first thing or is it the last thing on his will? Like, and at the end, dick pics on your ass. When did dick pics start happening? Did you used to do it like back in the day with just like you had to get them developed and give them to your girl? <laughs> <laughs> like a like a disposable camera style? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> someone's. Or, like, put it on a floppy disk? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Disposable cameras were always dangerous. You'd, like, come back from, like, Cancun spring break, and you're like, all right, I got, like, five of these. I don't know what's on here, but here, just uh, yeah, develop like, these for me. I wonder when they start happening. <laughs> these aren't mine. I don't know. With a cell phone? <laughs> these aren't my dick pics? you taking pictures of other people's dicks in Cancun. Maybe. It, it could have happened. I don't I, know. It's Cancun. <laughs> we're, we're a judgment-free zone. He is an artist. What's that mean? <laughs> what? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> so why is everybody attacking me? Yeah, I'm giving, the, I'm giving this guy artistic freedom. That's true. All right, I respect that. Were you gonna say Josh what? So I, I wasn't. I heard yeah. Danny has an amazing talent, and I just want to share it with all of our viewers. And I really, I just need his skills. Okay, Danny. I need to open this. Oh, and, uh, yes. You need to find an object in the basement. It could be any I object. I told you to pick. Yeah. We I got to pick we've it. Yet, we've yet to stump him. I, yet yeah. to stump I, stumped, I stumped him, but it was a bullshit stump. I'm like, here's a sock. Well, and a sock doesn't count. It's got to have some, like, it it's got to be, 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 to be a little bit firm. A little bit firm? What about yeah. a wallet? But not too, too firm. A wallet? Ooh, no. a wallet. He might be able, I to, might do. Be able to, but I might, might scrape up the wallet. Yeah, it's going to scrape the hell out of that. I can do it with my wallet. This is Dan- this is Danny's, and you can <laughs> see that he's done it with the edge of what this. About, what about what about a beer times. can? Our I options are a beer, beer can. He could do it. Uh, a eraser. dry erase eraser. Ooh. See, I feel like that's gonna rip it. It's styrofoam. Don't. Uh, do you guys see anything sure. cool? I see uh, nothing. I can do with my phone. How about I'm a coaster? I can do it with the coaster. Hang yeah, that's easy. Well, yeah, we got to try to do it. Something to challenge him at least. What about a pillow? Ooh, how about a dry erase marker? Have you done it with one of those? No. Oh, that's like doing it with lighter. Yeah, it yeah. would be too easy. What about a pillow? Let's see, see if I can I, do it with my shoe. I t- okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's a great toss. All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, do it with a hanger. Oh, that's, that's right, child's it's play too for too rubbery. Him. And, hey. Yeah. It's, it's too rubbery, guys. <laughs> We've defeated the dragon. <laughs> He's putting all his soul into this one. All right, and then we'll oh, cut. We'll this, cut the. I changed uh, this. Oh no, your fucking phone. I got to do it with my regular phone. Oh, you're doing the old. Yeah, oh man. <gasps> Whoa. Oh go. my god. That was dangerous. But <laughs> why like, would hey, you do? Oh no. It's another um, oh, advertisement for Apple. You yeah. Open your beers. Open with get beer with your phone. <laughs> it's my. Uh, I could have taken my phone out, and he would have did it. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty good at like not fucking up my phone. <laughs> That's so not true. No, now I'm am. I've got it fucked up from before for show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys are the trick. Uh, like he has this remarkable talent for opening up alcohol. <laughs> he can open up a bottle of wine without a cork, no problem. Wait, the wine doesn't have a cork, or without a cork opener, like without a, a cork? No, not a, without a problem. It's a pain in the ass. I've, I've done you, it with a drumstick. I've seen stick. you do it. I've done it with a shoe and a drumstick. I just yeah. knocked that bitch right through. Okay. No. Which made it very tough. Okay, Danny. so uh, what's your, what's your, so uh, Anthony and Sia, what are your like first drinking stories? Do you have a good one where you like you couldn't get something open, or you sat there and you were like, "Fuck, I gotta, we gotta find a wine opener," and your friend's fucking eighteen and they're like, "I don't know how to open this yet." <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess or playing Hey Mister or something. <laughs> 
I, yeah. I got you alcohol got poisoning the first time, oh. so that was pretty fucked up. So that's a brilliant <laughs> story. Yeah. Yeah, drinking UV blue. Oh, man. I haven't touched it since. So. Yeah, that's how that happens. <laughs> yeah. Is UV blue... Is it like vodka. flavored vodka? I don't though? even know. I don't remember. It was just in a blue bottle. Intern. UV blue. I don't drink that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing Hey Mister with Scotty. I think I've already told this on the podcast, but yeah. briefly, uh, with vodka. We're, we're sitting there, but we're like, Hey Mister, can you buy us alcohol? Like we're waiting forever. We're gonna stay in the car. Fucking. Finally, we get one guy to be like, Okay, well, what do you guys want? So Evan turns to Scott and he goes, uh, Captain Morgan's. And then Scott turns to the guy and he's like, we don't know. And then he's like, if you don't know, then I'm not getting it for you. Oh, away. shit. There is a so then we just slept in the car in the winter for no reason because we didn't have any alcohol. <laughs> Jeff, anyway, <laughs> you might know this guy. I don't know. That'd be hilarious if you know this guy. But there's this guy that in high school everyone would go to to get booze underage. <laughs> and his name was Crazy Mike. <laughs> no, no. Is he about. from around here? Is he from around here? I don't know where he lives, but you would just, I don't know. Everyone had his number, and you just call him up, and you'd be like, all right, you talk <laughs> really fast. Oh, and you'd no, be like, come, oh, no. Oh, no. Come the pick me up. Like I knew that I used uh, to get booze from, he was homeless. Oh, man. Maybe this guy lives <laughs> with his mom. We've Actually, heard that's the way him. to do it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's the way to do it, though. Get a yeah. homeless guy to do it. He was be like, keep change. Yeah. yeah. Was he at uh, Marathon, uh, 12 and Chainer? Uh, no, he, no. he, st- he, uh, stayed Kurt. to the local park over by, at, uh, um. Kennedy, I guess would be over that way. But, um, yeah, when we needed booze, we just looked for Mike with the bike and <laughs> Mike with the bike. Maybe. <laughs> and he's like, I got Maybe five. He's, he's like, it's five bucks change. You sure? And I'm like, have a blast, bud. Go to town. And he said the same to you. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, yeah. yeah, you're like, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, super he would young. tell me like super crazy things. He'd be like, "Do you want to? Do you want me to loan you ten dollars?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> you're homeless. How do you have any money to loan me? What are you talking about? And why would you open it up with that? <laughs> you want me to lend you ten dollars? <laughs> no, this is already after the transaction. I'm like, all right, thanks, dude. There was some guy the other day who came up to me at the party store down the street, and he he's like. He's like, hey, big man. He's like, I don't mean to freak you out. He's like trying to shake my hand. And he's like, he's like, see that? And he just pulls up his phone. And he's like, it's one of those like, uh, I forget what it's, it's called. Like a, it's an inhaler, those round ones that are purple. I forget what it's called. But uh, he's like, my daughter, she needs this. I need 10 more dollars. I need to go down the street. And it's like this elaborate thing. Like, I don't know. He's you like, knew, this isn't the first thing. He, the first thing he said to me is like, I'm not trying to scam you, man. And it's like, immediately, I feel like you're trying to scam me. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me $10. Like, what? And then they pull you in. You're not like, even close to Walgreens. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's like, all I need is $10 more. Oh, do you, buddy? Like, there's, what if, no, there's what nobody else. What if she actually else, did, though? There's nobody else you could go to. Like, for something that's as, like, pure of, like, a reason, like, my daughter needs this. Yeah. And I've been resorted to asking strangers. Like, our You are family. really convincing right now. I want to give you my money right now. You yeah, can. Maybe I should. Yeah. But at, at the same time, I don't, I don't carry <laughs> cash. Yeah, I never carry cash. I don't carry cash, cash and no then, more. Yeah, I never Homeless carry cash. Homeless people probably are taking a... A hit. A hit, probably. Oh, shit. When damn. I was at Wayne oh, State, damn, yeah. I would carry bananas with me all the time for the homeless people. They don't nice. and Did they take them? For the most part, but then when they would say, no, I don't want banana, I want cash. And I'm like, well, fuck off. fucking banana? Well, yeah. 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 Like, some food. I would be like, yeah, if some stranger was like, you want banana? I think they get food all day long. Yeah, exactly. They get food, yeah, exactly. food. They get food, food all day long, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't, yeah, I, I'm not. I think people like give them food all the time. See, I'd always I have cigarettes. Say, because, yeah, and then be like, hey, yeah. you got any money? I'm like, I got a smoke. And I give them I one. Have, we roll our own cigarettes and people be like, hey, can we get a smoke? And we'll be like, yeah, sure, let me roll you one. And they'll be like, oh, forget it. Yeah, like, 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 they look disgusted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, that's like, are, you in, the night. are you in a place to be picky right now? Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, okay, bye. Like, sorry, <laughs> yeah, also, too, you. like, also too, with your bananas, I'm like, take a banana. 
I don't want your banana. <laughs> well, what the fuck? Didn't you just tell me you're trying to get food? Yeah, you're, you're hungry. <laughs> you bastard. I want to food. That's what that was, that was the best part about it. Like, you're at least giving them something. You're not giving them money for... How many would take? Yeah, you know what it's going How many to. bananas would I carry with you? Uh, how many, how many <laughs> days would be like, you know what, actually, yeah, give me the banana. Yeah, banana I'd say, count. I'd say about 50% of homeless people would take my banana. Bananas. <laughs> See, now also... <laughs> that sounds disgusting, Tegan. Now also, this leads me to believe like how 50% many were, like, of them take my how banana. How many were being like, I'm going to flip this banana. And I'm like, gonna, for uh, something? Turn this banana into I don't know. Food. They'd yeah, be a, 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 smart, a smart homeless person. Well, or man. really dumb. They're trying to sell a fucking banana. They're like, <laughs> his other friends are like, get the fuck out of here. He just gave banana. me two bananas. How many bananas did you carry on you at one time? <laughs> Only one. So, it was just, so, you so it was for you, and then you were like, eh, I can live without the banana today. I carry a, a plastic knife with me and, and chop it into fours if there's four. Oh, okay. So if you got <laughs> approached by so four, you were ready. <laughs> you were ready for everyone I didn't to that. share everybody. <laughs> he was ready to fend off a battle royale with homeless people. With and I always bananas. had my running shoes on, too, and yeah. they tied tight. I just you guys, we're like, going to have bad karma right now. Bad no, no, no we gotta not. stop. No, it's not. No. Well, no, we're just talking about him giving homeless How people stuff. How are we giving bad? It's, <laughs> the homeless people have bad karma. They're homeless. You're right. You're They've right. Already, the karma's already come. Yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, but it's gonna come to us now because we're, yeah, we're talking about I'm gonna be homeless and I'm gonna be like, damn, I wish I took wrestling in high school. You'd be like, I wish I had a banana right now. <laughs> Anyways. See now that anyways. would flip the script if you have panhandlers anyways. they're like I don't want any money but you got any This like, is Sharkcast by the way we talk about nothing. Yes. You got any fruit you could spare. So I got a question. Um do you guys sing in the car? To, uh, yeah. Only time to we Jackson do and the Pool Sharks. Yeah, Jackson <laughs> and the Pool Sharks. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. Shit. Well thank you for that plug. Um, <laughs> nice. yeah, you, you guys, guys are the show. sick. We were at your show, your last show. It's the second time we saw you guys. Yeah. Well, kind of the first. It was my first cuz I didn't hear you yeah. guys the first time. The first Hell time yeah. we heard and found out about you guys we were at the Tangent Gallery and doing an art show at whatever fest, right? Yep. Right? Yep. Oh. And that was that's when we met. Yeah, was that cool? super fun. Great not for me. Fuck yeah, that's some cool paintings. Gave me the CD and I had the CD for like a month and it was in my car, and I just never listened to it because you know people hand you CDs yeah, all the time, yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." And then I played it, and I'm like, "This is freaking sweet." Nice man. Not I'm even fucking sweet, but freaking sweet. <laughs> fucking <laughs> sweet. <laughs> <Frickin'> <laughs> sweet. I'm glad you guys came out. Who, was, who gave you fun. the CD? Josh. Did. Josh did. Oh, and then sorry. Josh bought paintings from them. Yeah. Oh, and okay. that's yeah. how we know that. But you guys are oh, okay. Genuinely and in all honesty, you guys are. Both of our, one of our favorite bands for sure. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. You thank guys are you. fucking sweet. Well, thank you. You guys are going to get very big. flattering. <laughs> you guys are big. We're, we're big still, fans. Keep pushing through. Get swole, stay swole. You um, guys are swollen. But seriously, though, what do you When's sing to? When's your next your show? Uh, oh. It is. <laughs> it is at the Loving Touch, which is October uh, 12th. Ooh, nice. And Loving Science Fair. Badass. This band called Science Fair is their CD release show. We're playing with um, Brother Son, Panda House. In science fair, Fuck nice. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe I love maybe loving the, touch. The boys will come out. Yeah, it'd be sweet. I think it's on a Friday. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah that'd be uh, a week after our show. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. We'll Have be sober. Get... Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. In October. We'll be sober. In That's sweet too. But yeah. <laughs> We can still, <laughs> but for now, we can still have fun. I'm just yeah. looking at all you guys' faces. You're like, we're gonna be sober. <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing like that. No, everybody's no. like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna, not gonna be, we're just gonna not have fun. Um, you, you know what, though? <laughs> like, I talking about the sober in October thing is Danny and I are big UFC fans, and there's a big fight in October, and like, it's not uncommon for Danny and I, and even Josh, to even join sometimes and Yo. crack a couple of cold ones and watch. People beat each other up, and now we're just going to be watching. I've never watched people get beat up. And drink tea. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, Maybe get some knows? kombucha. Maybe. We can. <laughs> That'd be good. Light a couple up. candles. I'll bring a scoby. <laughs> Light it up. That's cool. Scoby. Deep cut um, there, Josh. I hear you can eat it. I wouldn't. So do you, you guys, do you guys know about, you obviously know about Conor McGregor. Yes. Do you know who he's fighting next? Me. No. So <laughs> no, he's no. fighting, and it's like one of really? the, it's yeah. supposedly this huge, it's the, the big, it's going to be the biggest fight that they've ever had. But this is just, it's not necessarily about UFC, but Conor McGregor, they're doing the press conference tomorrow for the first time for this big, huge fight that's happening in October, right? Conor McGregor just put out this whiskey, proper 12 or something, and, uh, 
It's supposed to be just media there at the press conference. Then Conor McGregor tweeted out uh, or Instagrammed out, if you buy a bottle of proper 12 whiskey, you are allowed like entry into the press conference and like he's just making that a thing he's just like telling all of his fans to show up to this venue when the ufc's like no no and they're fans gonna, they're and they're all drunk. gonna show up there and have a fucking bottle of whiskey and, <laughs> and be getting fucking hammered yes that's kind of genius it is genius because he's like getting all of his people to fucking come out there is this going to be the dumbest video of he's all time? He's the fighter? Probably. I'm just yeah. doing it for the video. Proper 12. Proper 12. We should drink that, though, one day. I love his outfits he wears, though. He's always styling. He's a classic oh, yeah. son of a bitch. Class, he's classic. Class act when he throws dollies through the windows. Well, yeah, I, I yeah. must say when he's when he's dressing when he's dressing himself. Yes. Does he star on? Okay, like right here, pause it. So per <laughs> per pressure, Conor McGregor's we watch it. Okay, no, that's not it. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting because oh, it's going to be chaos he, oh, tomorrow. He donated to uh, Wait, first responder charities. Mm, I wonder why. So who's he fighting? He's fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov. A, a nice That's Russian boy. That's a sweet boy. name. A nice yeah. Russian boy. He's a... Is he a who's just going to win? I don't, Time will tell. I don't... No, you guys pick. are supposed to know. Who I who do I <laughs> want to win? I want yeah. Khabib to spoil uh, Conor McGregor's milk. Okay. But I would... If Conor McGregor knocks out Khabib, that'd then I'm going to be like, hell fucking yeah. yeah that'd be sweet. It's, you know you what? It's, it's, it, it's a win-win either way. Like, it'd be nice to see this guy knocked off his mountain, but, I mean, if this guy knocks this other guy's block off, it'd be yeah. pretty cool. But I thought that was going to be interesting that he fucking did yeah. that because it's going to be weird. So you guys aren't into UFC, but you're into, like, what, street fighting? or <laughs> We fight each other, like, bare knuckles all the time. Wow, oh, dude. Really? Yeah. Nice. And I have yet to win. Yeah. yeah. She looks fierce. She's, oh, no. like, she's like, see you later. <laughs> she's got we actually arm wrestled yesterday. Yeah. And yeah. I Tell used him about it. <laughs> and you almost beat him? Her whole body. I used my whole body and With I, my left hand. He would, he started looking at the fish tank that's in my house, like while I was like using my full force. She's like, I got him now. He's looking at the fish tank. No. Yeah, I lost big time. Yeah, but it was it was a cute loss. Uh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So when did you guys start dating? Let's let's oh. get into it. Oh jeez. <laughs> a year and a half ago, ish. Well, nice. How did ish. you meet art? Yeah, yeah. At an art show. Yeah. Really? Yep. What art show? Uh, Maddie group show at the rectory yeah. at a church in Detroit. Sweet church show. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, were you like your art sweet? And then he was like, your art sweet. That was sweet. And then we yes. touched. And then he made me Lips. go listen to his band in the car. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I, wasn't, I, like I wasn't being one of those guys. I wasn't being one of those guys. I was just so pumped because we just recorded it, and I'm like, I gotta show everybody. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm guilty. Like, yeah, I just wanna, it was good. Yeah. I want a feedback. I'm guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah for that's sure. the feedback. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I know the feeling, <laughs> but yeah, you want feedback. I just want to show it off. Let's be real. I want you to listen. It. <laughs> it was good though. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was a good night. Um, well, well, clearly. No. <laughs> like, like, clearly. <laughs> I'm not like familiar with the art scene in Detroit whatsoever. Like, how often is there art shows going on? Like, often, I imagine. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Tangent Gallery is usually in the wintertime, always, they always have cool usual events. suspects or ta- Tangent yeah, Gallery think, is there's, badass. There's the few people that are there for the most part, but I feel like. The common people that come to every event are just, like, the people that are a part of it. Right. And then I feel like there's the, – the, the people that come to the shows are usually different. Mm-hmm. They usually look the same, roughly, but they're always <laughs> different people. And okay. uh, it's always a cool scene. Sometimes it gets rowdy, for sure, but, but yeah, it's, it's fun. And then there's always tons of art shows. Like, we're doing Funky Ferndale this weekend. Last show of the year. Yeah, last – I've done 26 day. shows, and I'm so ready to be done. Wait, Damn. Wow. So, nice. wow. So you guys – Yeah. Do you guys have other jobs besides doing like the what what, what was it called? Something uncorked. Shit. Artists uncorked. Artists Artists uncorked. You said you're doing a bunch of other things. I do a lot of things. Uh I was installing gutters and doing home exterior work for uh three G. It's a good company. Call them up if you guys need some, <laughs> some <laughs> <new> gutters. <laughs> <laughs> My gutters are fucked. Yeah, yeah, I could do them. I, like, I got five years experience, but I was doing that for a my while. My gutters are fucked. And yeah. then I, I just was like, you know what? My art's, like, I really love this stuff. I'm going to focus on my art. And 
So she really helped me out with this and just gave me confidence to take that step in the right direction. So so I left and I'm working, doing freelance design work and partnering up with this company. And um, I'm also got uh, invited to be taking an apprenticeship at Beyond the Chair Tattoo and Design in Shelby. Nice. Okay, nice. So I'm doing that. And she recently... Took up stick and poke tattooing. Yeah. So yeah. you are you are a tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. You are a second tattoo artist on Sharkcast. Sweet. Sweet. You guys should meet Adam Nagy. He's the son of a bitch. Unless you already know in a good way. I don't think yeah. I know him. I'm not really like in the tattoo scene. Yeah. I just want to put my art on people. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, no, that's, no, that's sweet. Do you yeah. guys have Love tattoos? It. Yeah, I gave myself. This was my first one that I gave myself. Not that the world can see, but yeah. Oh, they will see it. Nice. Yeah, and um, I, I work tell. at a flower shop part time. You can check it out later. It's like a map. Yeah, like a map. Yeah. Yeah, but we mainly just mainly art. stuff and make art. Yeah, full time. Now there is something that I've heard of. I don't know how real it is, but um, with writers, they'll experience writer's block. I have heard of artist block where Hell like, yeah. you don't know what to draw I mean mm-hmm. like yeah. the I haven't painted all summer really I haven't painted all summer maybe not because, three paintings not not uh, because lack of not wanting to or yeah I have just have you been trying to no I haven't been trying to oh, okay. I think it's just like I'm just pushing it to the side lack of inspiration or no is just Grace outside I don't know she might be no. did she just bark she didn't anyways yeah sorry well you got the anyways. beware of dog signs so I think right yeah. <laughs> so I mean, wouldn't it be scared if you walked in my house and Gracie's like, hey. <laughs> if yeah. your dog said, you. hey, I love you, I I'd love be like, you. what the fuck? The dog's talking. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> says no. with her uh, expression. Anyway, yeah, but sorry. Dog's cute. Yeah. Dog's cute. So it's um, not necessarily writer's block. Yeah. Would you say? What, what, what no. Do you think it is? I think I, knowing that I have an art show coming up that weekend, I just... I just don't feel like painting. I don't know what it is. Is it uh, because it feels like a responsibility uh, opposed to an escape? Well, do you have a backlog? Yeah, it could start to feel like that. Do you have a backlog of art that you're trying what's to a, sell? What's a backlog? I don't know. Just like, just like you've stuff done, that you've, you've already Oh, yeah. I have a bunch of work, too. That might also be the a thing because I wow. have so much and I don't know what to do with it. So I might as well just like take a break and sell some of it. But I do want to paint. It's nice to take yeah. a break, though, at least totally. for like me playing music. It's nice to... We do that know. routinely. Take a little, yeah. a little time now, to, to, especially like writing music. With, but. do you guys like do commissions? Like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, like, do. how does that go with you guys? Like, do you, how does that work with like a artist? What do you so mean? I just like got that? commissioned to do a mala, which is like a, it's like beads that you chant with, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I made. So I made the mala, which is, has 108 beads on it, and then I made, l- like, five little clay heads. And then he just said, I was like, what's your price range? Okay. All right, I'll do it. I'll mail it out to you. Right on. Now, do you do out-of-state work or? Yeah, this is the first one, actually. Oh, nice. really? That's cool. So what if he cool. hates it? What, is, what happens? That would really, really suck. I don't know. I'm worried. <laughs> he likes, you like it, right? You said awesome. you liked it. Okay. Um, the likelihood of, like, uh, him hating it. He's going to get like, it. He's going to be, like, dog shit. I feel like yeah. I'm back. I'm well, sorry. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be dog shit. No. <laughs> just, I think it turned I'm out being, pretty I'm good. Being so that's good. good. I'm sure it was fucking awesome, but I'm just hypothetically. If if, if it was like people hypo- are fucking, if weird. it was like a hypothetical, like he's like tracked, dude. I know. I think know. think about all those customers at Weiss's. It's different. Come in, it's different. In their like, my ham. Had a piece of cheese on it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, but it's not ham. <laughs> Can you, he asked I'm her, not happy with this. Know, yeah. because that being said, though, I mean, like, if you're being commissioned for it, the person's obviously seen your work. Yeah, it's not like very true. you randomly exactly. out of a hat. So he's yeah. going to appreciate whatever you've created because you've already sold them on whatever's going to come out. Unless there's cheese on I it. I haven't. But well, he knows that I'm a creative and he trusted me that I would make it look so good. He's so he's never seen any of your art I've before? never made a mala before. So uh, okay. But you, he's but seen He's seen my work, yeah. He's, so that. he's seen your sculpting. Yeah, like, he saw my little... I think that would be enough to be able yeah. to say, yeah. yes, I, I trust, trust you. Person, yeah. As long as you don't like go like, the, like I want like a painting and, and they give you creative freedom and you go like way to the extreme <laughs> outside yes. of your zone and they're like, what? This is your painting? I don't even recognize it. Then that's dangerous. I didn't want you to paint me a smiley face emoji. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you painted. Uh, I mean, a you kid. <laughs> <laughs> which is really cool. But, no. And you're like, 
Right. <laughs> was that your painter look? What? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. your painter look. I don't think I've ever made up. that face. I've never made that You're face. Like, so he's, well, and he's, he's that, that was him. He was checking the perspective. No, I, yeah, I guess I did that. I'll block it. Yeah, I did yeah, the same. He was checking the perspective, That's right? Um, <laughs> when was the last time you guys did a piece, regardless of what it is, whether it be sculpting, um, what, regardless of any style that you did for fun? Because you like doing it, because you wanted to do it. I feel like most pieces, yeah, do yeah. for fun. Except for the, I mean, the mala, I guess it's okay, like. Okay, but yeah. but yeah, it's fun. It, it's like porn out of you, really. Yeah. Oh, cool. So man. do you d- go mean, into it with like thinking I'm gonna draw like this idea, or do you just start? Just start. We kind of have to talk separately on that because we yeah. have way different processes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can totally yeah, like, both you go, ladies you first. Go. Yeah, ladies yeah. first. Oh yeah, okay. ladies first. So I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> she no, did beat you in arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, she she, to look at she threw you through a fish tank. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. smashed the fish tank on the floor all over me. from that armor <laughs> wrestling session. Anyway, yeah, so how do you get yeah, you started? So um, with mine, I'm an abstract expressionist, and I'm inspired by philosophy and psychology. So I spend most of my time, like all summer, what I've been doing is listening to psychologists and philosophers talk for hours, like a podcast. Like I listen to, you know, yeah. all sorts of podcasts. Okay, cool. And then, so I take notes on that because I'm a nerd. And I take those notes and I just kind of, I live with what I've learned and then I paint. And when I sit down to paint, I don't have anything in mind. And that's kind of the key. Um, and if I think a painting's going to go wrong, then it usually does. And I just, you know, paint all over it with bat. Yeah, I'll just trash it and I'll be really frustrated and I'll try to push through it but it yeah. the rest of it end up being bad too so if I start with one and I really like it I can usually like get into a flow state yeah there's she starts floating when she paints too <laughs> wow float state's key float state the float state yeah I uh I don't know do you like when do you know you fucked it up do you ever like, <laughs> You ever like do it too much? You're like, like this is sweet now, but I could add some more stuff. Yeah, and then, then you fuck it up. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, I waste so much paper, but then I don't actually waste it because then I cut it up and or make you, it into cards. Yeah, or Ooh. do you try to do it right again or like the same design? No, right again? never, never. Because then it, I just feel shitty about it. I'm like, did I really just try to reproduce thing. my own artwork? I don't know. Yeah, I think. Well, that's- sometimes a rough draft might be nice. No, no, not with me. No. Fair. So, That's are you fair. like in like postmodernism or? Um, I'm into all sorts of things. Like, I don't know if I, Jordan Peterson. I really like him, but I know there's a lot of controversy with him right now. Who? I'm sorry. Jordan Peterson. He's a psychologist. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah. I'm into all sorts of topics. I mean, all yeah. of it. I love it all. Nice. So, Anthony, how do you? What's your process in making art? So first, I <clears throat> take all my clothes off. Okay. Get naked, pull your penis out, get the paint, <laughs> get the paint ready. How do you get naked, then pull your penis out? Oh, <laughs> uh, true. Yeah, it's, it's well, difficult. Maybe. It's really hard. It's stuck up in there. It's, <laughs> it's called a process, gotta, Joshua. Yeah. Damn it. Just don't just, just trust process. the process. Yeah. Trust the process. This guy's a fucking That's artist what we say in our world. He trust untapes his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he tapes his dick up just in case. He needs to fucking, you know, lay down some fucking... <laughs> anyway, anyways, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So I don't know. Uh, so when I'm creating art, um, I like to, I don't know. I'm inspired by anything and everything, really. And I'm a really light humored, relaxed, um, open minded kind of guy. Yeah. And I just see a lot of like things wrong in society, and I feel like I'm really conscious with the environment and society yeah. and the way people treat other people. And um, I don't mean to, I don't mean to cut you off, but like, don't you find that to be frustrating at times to be conscious with society and the way how like the mind state of people are? It really sucks, and it's it's hard it's to rough, listen. Isn't it? I don't listen to like the radio or don't watch TV. Or, yeah, I have a hard time can't. listening to like some music, and I yeah. love music. And actually, I find myself like listening to this music because like it's it, like today I was doing it today, and it like. I almost felt like a punishment, but, like, I have to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I feel like once I stopped listening to it, I, like, felt, like, a positive, like, I took a step 
I was like enlightened by like right. not listening to the radio and not being influenced by those like negative. You stopped whatever. listening yeah. to the front bottoms. Yeah, because yeah. Oh, really? I like the front. Bottoms. I love the front bottoms, but, but he did point out that they're really negative. They're and, negative. and then now every time I listen to it, I'm like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're totally sad. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sad totally boys, sad. <laughs> which is fine, and they're it's cool and. It's, I don't know. It's yeah, great. Yeah. But like we, I don't know. I like to bring as like what I want to see in myself and society. I like to just absorb anything that's yeah. just positive, which sounds like nineties cheesy nineties yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But no, no, I'm a nineties so, baby. So, so how does but, it come out in your art? Like, so uh, I don't know. Social I, awareness. I guess like, I guess, uh, I just, um, I paint a lot of like yeah, nature look, elements and Josh, we grab his, grab his paintings. Let's look at a couple of his paintings. You, you could pull up. Break. You we'll could pull, pull those up. up after the break. I want okay, to yeah, finish this. Yeah. yeah. So, um, really, I just try to show the connection between mankind and nature and show that we are, we are not, we're humans, but we're not like above nature. We're, yeah. we, p- people look we're at ourselves as like special. We, yeah, we are special, but everything else is also special and yeah. we're just on the same level. And in my artwork, I try to show that we like it's everything's delicate and we need to stop being assholes and stop like stopping on the planet and instead take our shoes off and walk barefoot and live with the earth. Yeah. 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 Love it. Hell yeah. Well said. Well said. Let's take a break. All right. All right. Jeffrey, where can you listen to us? SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Where else? iTunes iTunes. What do you need to do when you listen to us on iTunes? Like, subscribe, and share. That is what you need to do. Also, if you don't fuck with SoundCloud and iTunes, there's another place you can find us. And where is that? Google Play. Google Play. Or on Stitcher. What Stitcher else? and Dog Catcher. Go ahead. I don't know what the fuck Dog Catcher is, but Neither apparently not. But we're on it, and we fucking look good as fuck on it. We are back. I was just about to. We were just talking about uh saying, are you having fun? When I went to Nevada... Who would ask such a stupid question? <laughs> when I went to Nevada... Why'd you ask that? Uh, we went to the mall, and that's what people would say to us when we were walking around. They're like, are you guys having fun? <laughs> and then like, uh... I get like I'm just I'm like walking around the mall. I get, I get instead of like like how's your day going or something like they were ev- like every place we went to they were like. Like, uh, are you guys having fun? That's weird. That's like a Truman Show kind of a thing. It's yeah. fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's weird that they were saying that because it's like, <laughs> I guess I'm having fun. Are you watching me? <laughs> <laughs> Am I on camera? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's a weird like, thing to say. Okay, especially like, when I'm shopping. If what? you like go to like, uh, like a comic book convention and you like run into someone you know, it's like, it's... Yeah, yeah but that's someone a, you know. It's within con etiquette to be like having a good con. Yeah, well... But if it's, it's a not stranger, a, you're just at a, a mall well, and the strangers. employee and the employee is like, "Are you having fun?" And Depends. It's just like I'm shopping. How old were you? Probably twenty. Okay. They're probably jealous weird. that you're twenty and and they work at Zoom, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start asking people that. Instead of saying, hello, how you doing? I'm just going to be like, hey, are you having fun? It was very <laughs> weird. It was very weird, I thought. But, nice. They're just going to be like, yeah, I'm just getting gas, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks really fun. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'll ask, I asked a guy earlier today, like, how you doing? He's like, okay. I'm like, that's a very real answer. That's I great. Kinda, yeah. I kind of respect that. I'm like, what's yes. going on? He's like, ah, I'm just feeling sick. I'm like, okay, what do you got? And like, we just had a whole conversation there you go. about it. It opens up conversation. Yeah. Good. By being I'm so real. sick of yeah. being like, hi, how are you? I'm good. How I'm are you? Good, Every yeah. person that comes into my art booth. There's a fine line yeah, between you, those two things. Do you want them? Do you want yeah, do you like, want to hear like, about their like, life like, story? Like, well, kind of. One, I'm sitting there uh, doing nothing. As an artist who's like looking for inspiration, actually, yeah, I could imagine that being a huge thing. Doing as the Spanish would say, and you can talk them into buying your shit. Maybe (laughs) you can bring it around. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, I could bring it around. Yeah, you feel bad. Oh, you're not doing. Oh, well, my artwork actually makes people happy. (laughs) Right, was when I was feeling bad and I was feeling down, and this piece made me happy. So you should buy it for two (laughs) hundred (laughs) dollars. Like, uh, who do you you look for? (laughs) Because it's hard when you share. I've been there. Share with. When you share art with, you know, like within your inner circle, like it's hard. Like your friends aren't aren't going to be like, this is bad. Like, who do you like look to like share your art with for like an honest opinion? What I just um, when I first started painting, my art teacher said, "This is awesome, keep it up." And since then, I don't. I mean, I ask like you and my sister, like, what do you think of this? I but I'm not that. really like thinking that they're going to like it or dislike it because. <clears throat> I don't know. I never really ask people. I think that's part of the art they itself. Like it? 
I care, yeah, of course. I'm like, yeah. oh, you don't I like this one? You, I really liked this one. <laughs> yeah. I give you honest opinions. Yeah, you do. You're like, oh, yeah. I don't really care for that one. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, right. And then, but then, well, that's good that that's, he, can, he can be honest. Yeah. It's good, constructive criticism. It is. That. Because then somebody will buy it. And I'm like, okay, it's that connected with somebody. Mm-hmm. You know? exactly. And I won't like some of my pieces, and yeah. somebody will yeah. buy it. It's funny, like, when you... When someone wants one of your paintings that's like, you're like, I shouldn't even put this out. But then you put it out at a show and someone's like, oh my God, this is amazing. I want to buy yes. it. And you're like, really? Was that one of the ones <laughs> you <laughs> sold me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's how it is when, cause I, so I make these little guitar string necklaces out of broken guitar string. I saw those. Yeah. And some of them are like really ugly. And the, uh, to me, they're really ugly. And the people are like, I like this one. And it's like, oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. I Everyone know. has their own like, I know it's a, a, like opinion on what's great, you know. Totally. But then it's all great in in that aspect. It's all great. Yeah, We're it's, having it's fun a, here. It's based on opinion, mm-hmm. but that's what makes art so beautiful. Can we pass this down? Oh, am I gonna hold it? Sure. For a second. Yeah. Okay. Passing it. So this is Sia's work. <laughs> So is it a piece of bark? <laughs> it is. Um, it's This is a piece of bark, and then this is like, it's called encaustic, which is wax. It's like painting with wax. And then this is watercolor and ink, and I actually bought blow pens. Okay. Because uh, I didn't want to buy a, um, a spray. What's it called? Airbrush. Airbrush, because they're so expensive. They're like 500 bucks. So I was like, I'll just buy blow pens. <laughs> And get the same effect. I like okay. this. It's, <laughs> have you used them since? Uh, yeah, I use them all the time. Yeah, yeah. The thing she does, just like she takes little things that you wouldn't think of and just really makes it work. She's an effective artist for sure. Yeah. So you were you were uh, talking about when we were outside. You're talking about kind of trying to cut down on clothes and being sort of a minimalist. Minimalist mm-hmm. in a way. You're not trying to go overboard, but this like shows your soul yeah i guess it does yeah what i go for with the white space is so um the positive space is representing like everything that we know in the world like for effect like i'm sitting here on this couch talking to you guys and then like all the white space is representing like all of the stuff that we don't know so is this jeff right here you were thinking (laughs) here's you yeah yeah for sure the frowny one the frowny one i'm always the angry (laughs) one today (laughs) for some reason He's like, I hate I Spider-Man. I experience no joy. <laughs> I like That's Ninja you, Turtles though. <laughs> yeah, not big Ninja Turtles. There's a running thing. <laughs> anyway, what, this one, I'm the, you're a little bit more tan than me. <laughs> if this was me. Well, you haven't just seen the <laughs> new Ninja Turtles, apparently. What? <laughs> so, oh, is this another one, Joshua? Yeah, oh, yeah so for is. those who can't that see that all that well, I'm just going to throw a couple of uh, Sia's works up here real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while still being See mobile. Your name is great. See ya. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> so, See ya. So tell us a little bit about this one. Do you um, name your pieces? I don't name any of my pieces intentionally. Intentionally. Um, all of my paintings have like the same philosophy behind behind them. Just like being curious about the world, trying to provoke curiosity in other people when they look at it. And you get the people who are like, my dog could do that or whatever. My like, no, I had this guy who that. said, that's, that's, bullshit. "That's complete bullshit." I had this guy who this said, "Who said? What this did you do? Skill. Did you tie a paintbrush to your dog's tail and what? just like in a, yeah?" So no, it's not like that. How <laughs> rude. Okay, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I, like, <laughs> that's so rude. I, I have, I have so something bad. to say about this, and like, could someone take this piece? <laughs> Give me <laughs> Josh's arms. Oh, here. Give it to Josh. Yeah, I'll, I'll just set it, it here. If yeah, someone okay. were to say, Grab, like, uh, um, oh, my, my dog Two. could could paint this with his tail. Like, okay, motherfucker, if that was... Why aren't the, you here selling this shit? Why didn't you do this then? <laughs> like, what stopped you from doing and this? And this is clearly, like... like uh, fuck them, guys. Fuck there's, them. There's always going to be someone that's going to say, like, oh... Some that, shit, yeah. Oh, that was so easy, but what sure. have you done? And the people Nothing. that say that right. have never tried it, because it, it's but I'm definitely... <laughs> Very difficult to paint in her style, and I can't do it. I mean, um, I would, I would it. never even attempt. I, I generally like your, your art, and like, fuck those people. And yeah, and also too, I like this a lot. Is that a uh, what's like the angel Chinese like, writing? Yeah, um, it's not Chinese. Do? It's called light language, actually. Um, it's like a meditation. You just kind of sit down and you make little characters, and that's how mine look. Uh. Yeah. 
And that has 24 karat gold leaf in it. Oh, oh shit. That's pretty bling, cool. Bling. And I add Damn. the cypress trees, if you can see them, the tall cypress trees, because um, they represent in other cultures like... Um, like death in a way, I guess, where the cypress tree grows so tall, um, they're like reaching up to the heavens, and the cypress tree never le- turns, like it doesn't lose its leaves in, leaves in the winter time, so it stays green all winter. And so, are the ones that I'm throwing up here? Are these also kind of like a 3D textured? Um, not so. Oh, the the first one was yeah, that was encaustic, the yellow, on which that is one. that waxy stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's all built up. I really like this one, the second one. I like this one. I like. This. Yeah, that one sold actually. So I'm really one, happy. actually they all sold, but this, this one, one sold for a good price. To me, dude, nice. be proud of your work. Yeah. Always be proud of your work. Yeah, this, this is awesome. So okay, so me looking at this, I feel like I'm looking at a like a farm, in like it's rows of like plantation maybe, and like the farm is in the background. This is what I'm seeing in my mm-hmm. mind, <laughs> and then there's maybe there's like a some smoke from like a, a tractor. Yeah, for sure. I feel or a tornado. I mean, it, regardless of it, and there's Jeff again right at the top. <laughs> and there I am. I just watched a movie I didn't like. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, as long as your art is invoking emotion, like it's doing its job, is that's how I feel. You know, that's mm-hmm. what art's there for. Yeah, regardless of what form the art is in, as long as it's invoking emotion, like you're doing. What you set out to do. Yeah. You know, yep. that's um, what makes art so wonderful. So before we forget, where can we buy your art? And Like, are you doing a show? When's your next art show? Next See art ya. show is this weekend. Friday, yeah. Saturday, Did and Sunday. Did you already tell us this? So this um, will come out on Monday, so the one oh. after this weekend. Mm. That's yeah. that's it. We don't have nothing. But oh, I, so I'll be doing shows stuff? at Tangent Gallery in my yeah. house. Is there a place online to find these? No. Ooh. We're working on that. But yeah, you should do let that. me know we if you want some help media. on that. Do a joint mm-hmm. website. But yeah. mm-hmm. let me know if you want some help with that. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, cool. If you see what you like, by say by see ya. Come be like, hey, see you shit on Sharkcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so now let's pull up some Anthony's work. And were you working the, on this piece on Fox 2? Um, I didn't bring that one, but no. I this was wasn't not. it? No. It was on a similar board like this, wasn't it? I've been painting on wood for the past, like, nine months. I like, like the wood thing. That's I sweet. said it eight months on Fox 2, and I lied on national television, or whatever. Fuck them. Did you? I see the, the knot that sticks out, the initial. Yeah. yeah um, I've been painting on wood because uh, I love the way it looks. It kind of just... Is this marker? That's actually acrylic paint marker, so it's all acrylic paint. Gotcha. Okay. Really? Um, yeah, but I like painting Hyper on... Hyper detailed. Yeah. Thank you. Very cool. And oh. What is this called? Stippling? It's, it's yeah, like, you, yeah, it's called stippling. Nailed it. So here's a picture <laughs> of it for those who are watching on YouTube oh, yeah. that couldn't yeah. see. Um, thank you for sending me these, by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just love painting on wood because you can use, like at least me, I use the knots in the wood to navigate my painting and like meander around the canvas. And, yeah. And, yeah. And I like to, like wood... I mean, it's just recycled wood for the most part where I'll just go dumpster diving when I was working, doing exterior work. They'd throw all this wood out in these big dumpsters, and I would just take it out of the dumpster, and I'm like, this could be a new piece of art. Yeah. And nice. it's just a great way to um, recycle it. Hell yeah. Absolutely. So what's, what's, uh, how did you start this piece? Go Ooh, back. I like that, that one. one's badass. But- I really like that one. We'll so, talk about that one in yeah. a second. So, what, like, what's your first, like, you're just seeing this in your mind? You're like, I'm going to draw this tree. So, I went to Dead River Falls. We both did, and Esposito had a... What is that now? Dead River Falls is in the UP in Marquette, and okay. we're in this rustic campground, and... It's like, pretty rustic. It was really rustic. Like, you just pay in a mailbox, and you just are there. Damn. And we did a five-minute drive to this beautiful like mystical fairy tale land and it's just like falls and all the root systems there you like use them as like pretty much like steps and they're just just so crazy looking Love so that. Yeah. after that trip i tried to um <laughs> tried to express and on can or wood canvas or wood to yeah, show yeah, like yeah. the beauty i saw you know and uh and this is what i came up with 
can I throw, uh, when I see this, and just the colors and the shape and the design, Yeah, like there's a little bit of almost Dr. Seuss. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say <laughs> adult. To it. Maybe it's the like blue adult. and the red and the yellow. I, I think don't it's, know, the primary yeah. colors. This, well, and the shape of the tree. This Isn't right it? here, I don't know why it just For this feels. Piece, I and, and granted, we're all kind of subject to Dr. Seuss's kids. Like it's just part of it. <laughs> well, so and maybe and Dr. Seuss is badass. Correct, yeah. and it's just the details and the the wrinkles of how this tree has grown. Like it looks like this tree grew, which is what makes it very cool to me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Really let's, try to let's look at the second one because it. the second one is sweet. Yeah. So before I pull up the second one, I'm just going to throw something. You you were talking about the interaction of man and nature. Yes. And this one totally talks to me about sweet. that. This one I I I'm quite in love with. But yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, this one is all about balance and kind of like self um, development and self uh, awareness. And I call this one "I am connected to the cosmos," and that's what this hand mudra is. I I, I I don't practice Buddhism too much, and I don't claim to know too much about it, but I know a little bit about it, and. Um, I just find the hand gestures very aesthetically beautiful. Yes. And the meaning behind them is even more beautiful. And I could flip this is, upside down and be um, the same thing. Exactly. And it's all about balance. And that's why the, that's why you can do that because it's all about balance. And it's kind of like we're flooded with, with civilization. Our, our current modern society is just polluted with crap. Yeah. And that's why the space shuttle in space represents mankind's reach into space. And even in space, it's going through one ear and out the other. And this person's centered and it's supposed to just bring center of uh, purity. And when I look at this as all what I think is beyond cool. Like yeah. there's more beyond now. Exactly. What brings- another thing I think about is like, Damn, you're pretty good at drawing fucking hands. Yeah. <laughs> now that, that's, <laughs> a draw question. Hands that's a hard question hell. for both of you guys. <laughs> what is, what is something that's challenging to draw? Yeah, what's your most challenging thing to draw? I've heard things. Uh, I've heard things like <laughs> buildings, cars. I fucking hate drawing buildings, man. Yeah, the yeah. perspective <laughs> is like hard to make everything. It's just look I don't like drawing right. straight lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very true. Uh, when I was in high school, I just gave up drawing. Realistically, I was yeah. getting really good at it, but like senior year, I was like, I'm done with this, and I've been painting abstract ever since. Yeah. So, in a sense, nothing is really that hard. I mean, I don't. <laughs> no, that's don't actually know. that's actually a great way to go about I don't it do because, that. like, uh, I don't. Like I said, I, d- I don't know art, but like I, I had to do a self portrait, and I'm like, well, like I'm gonna fucking I can't draw my hand. So I'm just gonna fucking. My grandma free taught me ball it. taught me a trick because I like to draw little cartoons and like caricatures. And my grandma would, she would always, she was pretty good at drawing, but she sucked at drawing hands, or she didn't like to. They were hard. So, uh, yeah, <sighs> like weird little drawings, like my this little is guys. A you did? But uh, um, this. But my grandma would always put their hands behind their back as a little trick. Oh, yeah. Because they're tough. She would always put their hands yeah. behind their back or, like, hide their hands in a, in a way. <laughs> this is just a silly thing I fucking drew. But it's really cute. <laughs> he no, says, I he's saying, what is he saying? Um, um what? what? Um, what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, a question for you from a construction standpoint. Yeah. Um, do you do the space background, like, both sides or do you yeah, do you do it first are you doing that f- um the process of this is i drew it up with pencil on uh, and this is on canvas obviously um and i drew it up wait you said this is pencil this is no i drew it up oh with okay pencil. oh well, i got you sorry <laughs> and then i'm trying to think because i did this almost a year ago not even a year ago but okay so i i drew it up and then i paint it what did i do i paint the background the, i, I paint the background First, for sure. Just the right and the so left the, side, or you so paint I painted thing? space. First. I imagine that would gotcha. like lead at least into this. Mid, oh yeah, it does. Because the hands are white. And then after I did that, I painted the beard and the hair. Yeah, because yeah. that's his beard. So I painted that, and then from there I let it dry, and then I went in there with marker and drew all the detail in it, and then yeah. after that, my friend bought his grandparent or his grandfather's house, and in his bathroom he had the coolest wallpaper. And it was shiny and black like that. And I'm like, you getting rid of this? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you're a fool. And I'm like, let me keep it. So I kept it and I used it in this piece. And I cut it up and added it to give it an extra shine. Which pieces are those? 
Oh, I thought oh, it, yeah. You see uh, it, <clears throat> those are little pieces of wall. Yeah, paper. so it, it shines when you look at it in person. Interesting. I want to see this one first. Yeah. yeah. It's in my car right now. No. Really? <laughs> we'll Seriously? Have to look at it after. Yeah, we'll uh, look at it go afterwards. to this next. I is there another one? one? Yeah, we got a couple more. This is fucking awesome. You showed me I this one, this one too. Oh, we yes. were at the show the other night. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. This is my most recent one. I um, I like how you draw trees. I'm just going to throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like an old man, but it's a tree. <laughs> and it's just got Very so cool. many layers and details. Is this another it. one that's on the uh, wood? Oh, uh, yeah. This is on wood. Um, and this one, I definitely, like, with this one when I was painting it, I was just had the board, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to. Is this Paint a knot? Yeah. yeah. And if you're just listening no. to this, people, this you got to gotta check out his shit. These are not. So where can we find your shit? Your uh, your Facebook is My f- Anthony R. It's Brass? Anthony, the letter R, and then Brass. So that's B-R-A-S-S. Yes. And then Espacillas is. Uh, yeah, buy their shit. Is, uh, e- what is your Instagram? My Instagram? Yeah, yeah give them your E-S Instagram. dot P-A dot C-I-A. Yeah. Yeah. Send those to us. We're going to plug these. We'll okay, that. sweet. Let's look at this last one here. And then this one. Hell yeah. I call it mm, Tripping on Shrooms. Nice, organic Matter. I don't know. I look, I look at this. I've been on Shrooms. That's what I named it. I've done Shrooms enough times where I'm like, mm, <laughs> Organic Matter. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't think of a name. And I'm like, yeah. Because this one really doesn't mean... Like this, it's not like it's just the beauty of nature. And, yeah. and I like, mean, yeah, I it's know. it's nothing to write like a song that means nothing or like a story that means nothing. Is just like to let the outpour come out of you. Yeah. And like, if I'm being mm-hmm. fair, like mushrooms themselves are such an organic concept. <laughs> yeah, you. Just I feel go, like mm. we use them for psilocybin and tripping and all that stuff. And for pizza. And for pizza. And for pizza. Yeah. I love pizza. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the table hard right now. Have you guys used any type pizza. of psychedelics? <laughs> yeah, we did. That's when, if you go to the first picture, the what's what's what did you call it? Uh, Dead River. Falls. Oh yeah, Dead River Falls. We did uh, acid so you guys then. Used oh, acid. This no, is that's an acid not, picture. No, it's not. Um, yeah. That well, was, no, but it was inspired by it for sure. I guess you could say that my work's really not inspired. By no, by yeah. psychedelics, but but, but because well, me, you've done them in the past, you probably I don't know. So I guess I found myself a, doing more. There's a certain adding more detail to my work since. for sure. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Okay, you guys have done acid before. In so, terms, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Hopefully, your mom's not listening. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, well, they're artists. artists, of course, they've done acid. Sorry, <laughs> mom, but I mean, from an artistic standpoint, because I've done both acid and psilocybin <laughs> and. It has both times that I, well, not both times, but the many times I've done it, has brought Joshua, how many times have you done acid just for your mom's sake? For my mom's sake, zero. When did you lose your virginity? Okay. For your mom's sake. We're we're moving (laughs) past that. I'm sorry. So, okay. Using using acid, psychedelics, um, any sort of psychedelic drug, like, what do you feel is the takeaway? Because I've got my own perspective on what I gained from those ideas and from what those gave to me from a psychological standpoint. I mean, like, how do you feel like those have actually impacted your art? Do you want to go first or do you want me to? You go if you. Okay. Um, I guess the takeaway is that we really can't take everything away from our experience and of course you're just there and it's a good way to put it it's a very great way to put it and really you're just everything you experience right now is just enhanced like a million times and you're just aware of the actual beauty that's in front of you and you're in the moment you're extremely in the moment and i feel like you have breakdowns because you're just overwhelmed and you don't feel worthy i was yeah. Like I was just like, just take me now. Yeah. Just, you don't yeah. feel yeah. worthy, but really, yeah. it, you are. And, of course. Yeah. And um, of course. I feel like it's the artist's job to take experiences like that and experiences in every day and what we see in life. And it's the artist's job to take the way we view the world. And maybe we have an enhanced way of seeing the world or maybe we don't. But whatever it is, it's our job to try to capture that beauty and share it with the rest of the world. Yeah. yeah. No, and I feel like these kind of drugs actually bring a, especially for from like the art, artistic standpoint, they've got 
something that I guess you could say is a je ne sais quoi, I don't know element to them, where you just want to express it in a different way. You understand it in a different way. And you want to just show the world what you've experienced in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, that, that, that being said, I'm not saying that any of these things guide your artistic views, but it, it does ultimately... Influence it. It does. Yeah. I used Having to think gone, that... Yeah. Sorry. So you, go ahead. I used to think that um, psychedelics did totally influence my artwork because I listened to a lot of Terrence McKenna, and he's a psychedelic advocate yeah. from like the 70s, and I just loved his viewpoints, and... I don't know. When we did acid, though, I have this crazy story at Dead River Falls. Please. Um, so it's this beautiful place, and we're both just, you know, feeling the depth of all of, you know, mm-hmm. the earth and everything. And there's this massive, to me it was massive at the point, was at that time, this massive, no, it wasn't, it was huge, it really <laughs> was. Intense. It was an intense waterfall, and there was like a piece of rock in front of me that I had to jump on, but it was narrow and not you know, it wasn't a good rock to land on. Yeah, you had to sure. jump to that and then jump you over another did it waterfall. Flawlessly. No. Well, oh. the first time I did, and then I did it again barefoot, thinking I'm like a jungle woman, like just run, you know, just run conquering the You're land like, yeah, or course. whatever. <laughs> and I'm barefoot, and I, Anthony just like you know hops over it. He's like over yonder. He's like gone. He did and a 360 I'm, over it. And I yeah. also beat her in arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like I don't gone. Know, up for debate. We and. Have to do a- I so I kind of whooped your ass. <laughs> anyway, I go to jump on that rock, and it really fucking hurt. And then I, like, bear crawled onto the last rock, and I just was like, "Wow, that that was crazy." And I found him, and I'm like, "Anthony, that was really, it was really tough back there. It, like, it was really scary." And he's like, "Oh, are you okay? Like, did you get hurt?" And I look down, and my foot is just like, there's just like blood everywhere. Oh, like, I just freak yeah. out, and I think that my legs like gone, or, like, because I'm on acid, and I'm like. What just happened? My legs gone, but it yeah. ended up being just like a oh, flesh crazy. wound. <laughs> it was a flesh wound. It was like it was a pretty solid cut, but it was scary, and I thought I needed like the ambulance. So and- yeah, I feel like <laughs> having those experiences is, is very like beneficial to an artist because it's you're you're viewing something that like you don't view every day that some people won't ever view in their whole entire life. Isn't that crazy? And uh, it's like going without sex your whole life. Well going without yeah, going out with like knowing like this shit is we fucking weird. This shit's weird. It is. If you never like try any psychedelic, you don't know that this shit can be real weird. It's weird as is. But but it's also like so true. Yeah, but at the same time like being just just taking mushrooms doesn't make you a profound artist. No, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's within you guys. Yeah. yeah. That that which, which I don't like. To, I don't like to hear like artists like specifically just like I don't know no, talking sp- only like. Do you know what I mean? Like well, and to be to be my fair, art is psychedelic. acid based. Yeah. No, yeah. and I have a I, question. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but um. I know this is like the worst question to ask, but it's an interesting question to ask is how do you know when a piece is done? Because you can mm. always Dick go back. It. Always it. go back. I've got a saying How for do this, you know when it's a, time to say it's done? That's a question for Espacio. Oh, it's oh, okay. Um, for me it's just about like composition of the piece mainly. Yeah. So just like not taking it too far and not getting into my head to where yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe it needs this little thing or whatever. And then once I add that little thing, I just destroy it. So Especially it's with done with minimalist when, work. Yeah. Like it's, it's hard. Yeah. I used to just throw away so much, mm-hmm. so much paper because I would just go through it and just hate everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'm just done when I feel it's done. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What's like what's you just have a feeling different? like it's not like a feeling. I just. Just Look gonna... at it, and it's pleasing to the eye. Yeah. And All right. It, okay. Yeah. Something. With mine, I guess. Intuition. Yeah. 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 Um, and with me, I uh, get a lot of advice from Espacia, and I will ask her a lot of the times, or I'm like, I think this is done, or I need something, but I always ask her, and she gives me the best advice ever. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> She'll help me out. Yeah. So let's... Uh, Let's get away from the art really quick. We're Hold on, do I got okay. I got to throw okay. one thing. Yeah, give me one more thing. One Josh, more thing, of course. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but <laughs> the the question is, when do you know a piece of art is finished? My stop going. Oh, I'm sorry. My well, I'm. That's when I stop. 
Okay, anyways. Stop recording. So, uh, Danny, give me a piece of paper. A piece of art is never I don't finished. Want to draw it right now. It's it merely surrendered. So there's always something else you can give it. Hmm, that's a really interesting quote. Is it a quote? It is a quote. I like that. Hmm. Can you say it again? A uh, piece of art is never finished. It's merely surrendered. Okay. I like that one. You guys send that to me. I have a yeah. quote book. Yeah, but that's the thing is like <laughs> something could like no matter what when you're like I'm finished and then you look at it three months later and you're like I gotta. It's this. tough to say though. It's like say if there is a god and he's like I'm making man. I'm gonna do two arms and two legs. He was like, I'm finished. But if he kept going and he surrendered, you could have like 50 arms on a guy and then you run out of room for arms. And that's actually a really good example. It's an interesting yeah. thing. It's a really good example. Cause God should have made us with wheels. We, like, would have been, we would have been more efficient. Or fly, <laughs> maybe or fly. Or wings. I'd wings say wings. Or all maybe. really big wings. <laughs> wings would be sweet. I'm just wheels, yeah. Yeah. too. Yeah. Wheels would be cool. <laughs> we'll let the other <laughs> artists... <laughs> we'll could, you wheels think, or, legs. could you think of how different the world is on the heels? Heels? Yeah, they're like not wheels, wings. Wings. Yeah, like, wings. Wings. Yeah, like, wings. yeah heels. Would we all live, like, in super high top, like... Would that be like the <gasps> That'd ideal? be sweet. Is, would that be the ideal? Like super way up, like in the Amazon rainforest? Sure, mm. whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, so let, uh, <laughs> we're gonna get away from the art, and we're gonna ask you the question, the shark oh, cast shit. question. This is the oh question. my word. Is, is it, it different every time? What's your favorite no. color? It's the same question every time, Ooh. and we ask all of our guests. So we have a hypothetical. Not all of, but most of. Most of. We try to ask all okay. of Okay, so we have a hypothetical sandwich shop. It's called Shark Casts. Is it the Shark Cast <laughs> Cafe? <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that, Jeff. I like the Shark Cast Cafe. Okay, so we ask all of our guests. This is a question that can r- reflect your personality as There's well as your taste in answer. food. Okay? What is... The Anthony. What is Anthony's sandwich? If Anthony's sandwich was on the menu, we have a sandwich. it's called you, the Anthony. Now, now what's you, the Sia? If you if you if you were to order the Anthony or the Sia, you can't change a single ingredient. No, nope. you can't. You can't say minus tomato. Minus this. No. Like if, if no you're just on, getting what you get. There's no minus. Sandwich. If 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 you say that tomato is on the Anthony or olives is on the Sia, Sia, <laughs> it's on there. You, you can't say. Well, I will, I'll take it. I'll take the Sia without olives and the Anthony without tomato. Nope. No. You okay. don't get that okay. choice. Okay. Well, you guys don't get that choice. Yeah. Because we want it every time, the way it is. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is toughy. You want to go first? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's um, like, oh, yeah. I have it right on my tongue. It's awesome. Um, like <laughs> mine would be like not the normal. Okay. It would be like, you know, not buns. It would be crepe. Crepes, Crepes. but made into bun form, if possible. Then we got a bunch of fruit in there with syrup and maple syrup. Well, it can be it can be like a hamburger form. (laughs) I'm sorry. Uh, Let's hear her out. Let's hear her out. Let's hear her out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, it's just really good whipped cream. So you said strawberries. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. In a in a crepe that's shaped like a hamburger. Yeah, and you can like just eat it. Okay. Hmm. I can go for the more standard if you want. No, I would just get no, like, no, no, no. Okay. no. That is the most. There's not a wrong. Is there whipped cream on it? Oh yeah. Is it warm? Oh uh, yes, yes, it's warm. <laughs> okay. That would be good. Okay, I can dig it. Oh, so it's a total brunch so sandwich. Yeah, or it's a it's a breakfast. Yeah. Like pancakey, like sandwich, mm. or you could do like it. It could be on the Shark Cast Cafe dessert menu. <laughs> yeah. Yum. What about you, Anthony? Um, okay, so I love a lot of things. I don't I'm a man of right. love. I'm just kidding. No, I like a lot of things. So my sandwich will be able to be pre-cut into I don't triangles. Know, three sections, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Three sections, okay? This is interesting. Okay. So you can't change it, but at least you get the three sections of a, a piece of Pretty my, good. My, oh, sorry. Uh, my flavor. So the first one. Would be a pizza sandwich. Oh, I fucking love pizza. So this is like I'm a addicted. flight of sandwich, dude. Pizza's like yeah, but it's all one sandwich. Okay, it's okay, made okay. all together. But so one part of it is a grinder. Sliced. It's like a Neapolitan ice cream of sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. yes, that's exactly. cool. <laughs> okay, okay. So one's a pizza. Go Dago's. <laughs> so so what did you say? Go fucking Dago's. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. So the first one would be a pizza. 
Okay. Yum. The second one. Is it just standard pizza? Pepperoni? Um, cheese? Okay, we're going to go cheese. Um, jalapenos. Ooh, okay. There you go. You dig the jalapeno. Some, some Gouda cheese. All right. Ooh, some, Gouda instead of the mozzarella. Weird. Red onions. <laughs> red onions. Ooh, okay, okay. Some black olives. I don't want nope. it. <laughs> I don't <Nope>. want it. <laughs> nope. you, you threw uh, I'm over the it. broom off with the olives, but <laughs> I'm down. Sorry, baby. I'm down. <laughs> so down for olives. Okay, and the, is there a top to it? <laughs> the top to it is fucking cheese, of course, and sauce. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe a couple taps. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then uh, okay, like a Chicago style. Sandwich. I was like, Dago, cool. Bread. And then you were like, olives. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the second half. How could you not like black olives? He doesn't like any olives. Dago, I yeah. guess. I don't know. <laughs> he'll eat fish eggs before he'll eat olives. <laughs> I, mean, I never had a fish egg, so. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> okay. You'll never eat olives again. <laughs> and then the, the second part of it would be uh, rice. <laughs> rice, <laughs> rice bun. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> rice bun like sushi, and then we'll have sushi in it. Okay. Okay. What kind of sushi? Um, spicy tuna. Mm. Spicy tuna. Okay. With, or sweet potato. Sweet Sorry, potato. this yeah. is your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's like, you know, it'd be good on there. That's good. Sweet potato. You like the sweet potato? That. That's probably my favorite. Actually, <laughs> go to this place called Kyoto. Yeah, the best sushi's better. Best sushi uh, is just uh, sweet potato. And the third part would be um. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna have it a pizza sandwich. It's <laughs> <laughs> just so, gonna be a pizza uh, sandwich. A pizza sandwich, <laughs> a pizza sandwich with the the sushi roll sandwich on top of the pizza. Sandwich. Yeah, like like a sidekick. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So on the side. Okay. Instead <laughs> yeah. of fries. Yeah, you don't get fries because I don't really like fries. Okay. Or you don't like fries, you no. silly man. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Wait a minute. You're, You're smart. Sweet potatoes. You're smart. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> so yeah, that was a long, draw, drawn out um, conclusion to pizza. Okay, so we it's wanted just, a so sandwich pizza. So turn out a sandwich, but you're close. He has a calzone. Every sandwich is just. Pizza. And mine's just a crepe. <laughs> yeah, yours is breakfast. But this is very thicker, much dinner. A thicker uh, crepe. So it's yeah. a pancake, essentially. It looks like a sandwich, you know. Yeah. Okay, fair. No, All those, right, are, now, those might be the most two unique sandwiches we've heard in a given night. <laughs> well, you usually just get, like, I, I'll take an Italian. We've had some <laughs> weird sandwiches. <laughs> right, so. We've had okay. some weird sandwiches. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've had some What was weird. the weirdest sandwich you had? There was sardines. Um, Kyle Davis. The, yeah. Kyle's. Sar- no. Sardines. Kyle Davis's was disgusting. Kyle, Kyle Adams was, was fucking was, weird, too, because he weird. had a fucking prime rib and lettuce. Weird. No, he had filet mignon lettuce wrap. Oh, it was, f- yeah, filet mignon. My, that's my not that I feel like that's not, like, thought out. Yeah. What? You just well, said you just pizza. pizza you long. just said pizza. You don't have you to think. Pizza. When, when pizza's involved, you don't have to think. You just, okay. you just go. Okay. We, we've had uh, <laughs> pizza Kyle Davis. Go. Pizza Kyle go. Davis had yeah. like uh, some sardines. Like, sardine sandwich with like some mustard. With no, it, was, it was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about it was good. Anyway. Anyways. You got more questions? Uh, That's a good question. I have a question for Jeff. Uh, what's that hickey on your neck, boy? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Let, Let me see that. Let me see it. Let me see it. It was me. Damn. Anthony, you bite well. from me. <laughs> You're real efficient with your... <laughs> Gracie, sorry. Actually, um... Just it's, like, damn it. Is it a real hickey, though? No. Oh, yeah. It's it not. Is. It is. Yeah, I'll have real. you know, it's not a hickey. <sighs> Hair no. curler. No, my uh, curly neighbor, iron. No, my neighbor straightener. Quit, my neighbor quit me, uh, blow dryer. A mushroom. Very Split strong them. blow dryer. Sorry, I shaved the sides of my head today, and uh, my neighbor did, and she clipped me with the clippers. Pretty fucking good. And it then looks also, like she may have clipped kissed, you with her mouth, and then kissed it real good after. She's nope. like a better. It was actually it was actually pretty funny because she was like, looks like a hickey, and I was like, <laughs> awesome. Well, okay, was any uh, anybody here were they a hickey? Person, back in back in the day, no. I was never like, like the giver or the re- <laughs> any, any because nah. if anyone so ever were to do that, do that, I'm like, don't even think about it. Leave it a mark so, on my neck. So here, here, <laughs> here's, like, here's the story as I will tell it, and I think actually it's pretty damn accurate. When I was in fourth and fifth grade, people would. Oh, oh I did that all the time. Suck on their arm. I did they, that all the time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. They'd suck on their arm I until there was like a big old purple spot. 
we didn't know it was a hickey until later on. They're like, oh, True. that's what happens when you're making out with someone so and then, they're sucking on your neck, which feels great for the record. But <laughs> I understand where they happen from. I understand the genesis of the hickey. The first hickey I got was from a shark. From a shark? Yeah, it, was it was Jeff. It was Jeff. It's fucking Jeff. <laughs> Those his clippers. Yeah, no, no. Jeff was just... I've woken up and Jeff's like there and he's ready to suck on my neck. And I'm like, dude, no one invited <laughs> you now. in. And I he go disappeared suddenly. Like a fucking vampire. Um, it actually, it actually kind of hurts. It does. As a vampire, I'm sure Hickey's that just, they just I never seem, Are they you worth in. it? How long does it last? A week? The, 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 the key is to comb it out. The, what are you talking about? Your hair? If you what? Have, <laughs> If you have a hickey, if you got the in beard. high school, if you're in high school and you have a okay, hickey, okay. and and you don't know what to do and you're embarrassed, you can comb it out. What do you mean? Comb. What does that mean? Nobody knows what you're talking about. So you've about. got a bunch of scratches on your neck. How instead? often did you have like, hickey? No, I've had a hickey one time in high school, and, and, you uh, and you just it with a put a bunch of scratches on your neck. I don't know if it even worked that good, but I was told to comb it out and spread. What? Spread the bruise for real, and it spreads the bruise. So it's no, you just had a bunch of red spots because you had a comb scraping against your skin. Yeah, I don't know if it really worked that good. Yeah, no, I mean. But that was the advice I got, and I Damn. want to spread it to everyone. On that note, you want to close it out? Well, how deep are we into this? We are 141, my friends. 141? With, with that break. With that break. I'm down because you made it fucking uh, called us out. Well, who <laughs> wants a hickey? <laughs> who wants a hickey from Jeff? Raise your hand. Nate, are you raising your hand? I think he is. Nate, His hand's Jeff. up. Or we can watch yeah. the Captain Marvel trailer. Let's watch the Captain Marvel trailer and then end this bitch. I don't know if you guys are into nerdy shit, but we are. We need this. So yeah. we're going to watch this. I haven't watch watched it, it yet. This so is nerdy? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we have nerdy news on this. Jeff, tell podcast. me about it real quick. Go. Um, the Captain Marvel trailer. It's about Captain Marvel. <laughs> it wow. takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it leads up to Infinity War. Uh, yeah, sure. Say and that. Say that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Brie Larson's in it. She's great. This Her cat's in it. But I feel like I want it to pick up when I'm You're not doing it right, Josh. Put it, put it on the thing, <laughs> on the TV. Failed. So, do you, are you into the, no? I'm yeah, sure you're not. No, no. You, have you seen like, <laughs> no. any of the Marvel movies? Uh, no. I kind of dropped off. Fair. Uh, Fair. We have to watch this for the sake of. I have not watched it. I am so involved at this point. Full screen. That Full BS. screen. Just, he just doesn't know to YouTube, does he? Blockbuster. <laughs> There's your time. Time war. 1990s. Time reference. Cool. Am I going to be turned into a nerd? Hopefully. Might be. We're all I'm ready. To play. Yes. yes. I know we're renegades. So I have saved watching this for right now. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. She's just wearing that suit at the subway. Eh? I and like it. <laughs> Space invasion. Chase. Where did she come from, Jeff? Um, she, she's a. Uh, so you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. Explain it to me, Jeff. <laughs> Hold on, wait for the trailer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this makes me want to watch it super bad yet. Hold on. We have no idea what threats are out there. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, that that punches that old lady right terrible. in the face. I felt that one. Who's that? That's her. That was her? Yeah. Oh, she's wearing that, like, mohawk? Yeah. Shit. I'm not what you think I am. Mohawk? No. Nope. I don't know anything about her, so that doesn't. Give All right, me so super she's half. Hard. She's half fucking human. She's half. Queen. You guys don't know Captain Marvel, because I don't either. So <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. I like that she's she's cute and. Uh, looks so cool, Jeff, but... this is Jeff's shit. So tell us about Captain Marvel real quick. All right, well Captain Marvel is she's half alien, half human. She's half Kree, like Ronan the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Okay. Um, she socked that old lady because that old lady was a scroll, and scrolls are shapeshifters. Um, okay. actually, shapeshifters. Actually, if you look at the movie poster, you can see that her cat, Chewie, is in, because Chewie plays like a prominent role in her cat. Yeah. Like if you were to pull up. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, she we'll is wait. half human. But anyway, so fuck yeah. Um, I'll see it. Looks cool. It doesn't tickle my fancy as much as the other ones because I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. That's supposed to be the bridge between well, she's Avengers. Also, she's also part the one, most part powerful two. hero yeah. in yeah. the uh, Marvel Sorry, Cinematic we're, Universe. Sorry, we're nerds. I'm we're sorry. very involved with this. So. We fucking love you guys. Thank you for Thank coming you. on. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you. You. I hope you had a blast. Hell yeah. Uh, come and see us October 5th oh, at yeah. the Sanctuary. Come. We'll be there. At the we'll Sanctuary. all be here. All of us in this room will yes. be there. Uh, we're playing with Trout, Duende, and Dude. Yes, and, and then it's gonna be a Dude. bad fucking show. It's gonna be a bad ass show. We're gonna be sober, so and Ooh. find their shit, buy it, buy that shit, and if you don't fucking buy it, you can fucking <laughs> suck it. <laughs>